Now, uh, Vivek is joining in on, uh, you know, some of the interesting changes with regards to the uh, Sensex and FTSE rebalance and the kind of flows and the impact that specific stocks are likely to see. Uh, Vivek, tell us, when is this rebalance going to happen? And then, of course, who's impacted? Well, uh, so what we have to keep an eye out for uh, is the fact that uh, Sensex has actually given a list of stocks there where there will be weight changes. When you're talking about FTSE, you know, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Number one are weight changes, both uh, upwards as well as downward revisions, and other things, some inclusions as well, as far as the FTSE index is concerned. Why is it that we're tracking it today? A whole host of passive funds, given the fact that these changes come into effect Monday onwards, today is the day in which the trading adjustment will happen, and which is why you will see passive funds forced to actually make the changes in the trading session today. So what we've done is a whole host of stocks uh, uh, that are there, but what we are trying to highlight are the top stocks that will be impacted in terms of the flows that are expected to be seen. So the first one that we're taking into account is Sensex. Uh, when you're talking about Sensex, keep an eye out for Kotak Mahindra Bank as well as Indusind Bank. Weights will be adjusted upwards. Uh, a $44 million uh, flow is what analysts are estimating as far as Kotak Mahindra Bank is concerned. Indusind Bank uh, expected to see flows of close to $11 million during the session today. On the other hand, uh, HCL Tech and SBI are seeing their weights go downwards. SBI expect the outflows of close to $12 million. When coming to FTSE, you know, some uh, you know, higher number of stocks will be impacted. Indian Hotel is one particular stock expected to see flows of close to $45 million. And this particular stock has seen significant momentum in the last few trading sessions on the back of this anticipated inflow. Uh, CG Par, again, $34 million coming in here. Gujarat Florakim, $25 million. Shefla India, Linde, as well as Mothers and Sumi, too will see flows coming in. On the other hand, India Bull Housing Finance and Tata Power will see outflows. Tata Power would see outflows of close to $20 million in today's trading session. Keep in mind, these changes have been announced earlier, especially FTSE one month earlier. So active fund managers would have already started pricing in these particular changes. Okay, thanks a lot for bringing that to us. Uh, by the way, the mid-cap index has cut its losses. In fact, there's buying that's resumed once again. Uh, so names like India Cement, SEAT, Adani transmission, all the stocks that have been uh, uh, seeing fervor lately are back on the buyer's list. But